Hi. Bear with me. This is my first time making a video. People keep telling me I should make a video to tell people what it's like to have MS. And it's like, I'm not sure where to begin. Um, if you don't know what MS is, it's multiple sclerosis. It is a neurological disease. What it does is your body attacks itself. So you have this white fatty things around your nerves called myelin. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, the black plastic coverings of uh, electrical cores. So that's your covering for your nerves. Okay, so your body uh, starts to believe that that's not supposed to be there and will attack it. So when your brain sends a message to a part of your body to do something that it should do, uh, it doesn't go through because the MS has attacked it and that area is damaged. So an example is lately, um, it's the, there's a lesion in my brain that is damaged so it's causing parts of my body to be numb. Mm, various parts of my right side is numb on random places. Sometimes it's not numb, sometimes it is numb, so it's it really it's really odd. Um, what I have is a relapsing remitting uh, multiple sclerosis, which means I can have a relapse, what they call a relapse, where you get worse, and then I get better. Yay! So, I just have to... <laughs> We're looking for a medication for me to manage it. Currently, I have five active lesions in my brain. I don't know how many on my spine or whatnot. I just know for a fact there are five active lesions in my brain. Yay! I don't know if these are new or old ones that are just active now. <sighs> Fun! So, yeah. Uh, the reason why my channel is called Second Generation is because I am a second uh, second generation MS, MS patient, which means my mother actually is first generation, so she has MS, and now I have MS, which makes me second generation. Um, the hope and the prayer is that my children will not be third generation. It's scary to think about them getting older and developing MS. It is. It is scary. <sighs> but I'm not sure how often I'm going to make videos. I just, it was on my mind today, so I thought I would share. Um. It was on my mind today because I found out that I had um, my JCV virus uh, test came back um, and I have the antibodies for JCV virus with the John Cunningham something. I am so sorry. I'm going to have to Google that again. Um, but it's at 3.71, which is high, which means I'm not eligible for some of the medications for MS because it can cause PML. Again, I don't remember what PML stands for other than it is a brain infection. That can be fatal. So, yeah, yeah, so the medication they wanted to put me on was, uh, the, we, I just got everything set up to do Tysabri, which is an infusion, 
uh, medication, but with my JCV being so high, it could cause PML, and we're not going to do Tysabri, we're going, we're looking at uh, something else. That was still being, they are trying to get it approved with insurance, you know how insurance can be. Mm. MS medication is not cheap, so they don't like to cover most of it. I'll let you know what I find out, I guess. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. It's tiring to think of everything. I just got my iron back up where it needs to be because I tend to be anemic. Have been since I was 16. So this is something I've been dealing with most of my life. I'm 38 now. That's a long time to be dealing with something where your iron is low. And if your iron is low, like mine typically would stay at 7. Which is low. Your iron is supposed to be about 14 if you're a woman. Like 13 to 14 is what they want you to. I think 15 is good too. It's supposed to be a little bit higher if you're a guy. A friend of mine was like, isn't your iron supposed to be 36? Like, no, that's actually really high and really bad. Just like being at 6 is really low and really bad. It's just opposite problem. I honestly don't know what it would be if you were 36, other than that's too much iron. So I'm not sure. I'm sorry, my I keep moving, so I'm going in out of focus to my eyes. Um, I like this shirt. I got this new shirt for work. It's nice and pretty. Anyway. Between being anemic, blind, not legally blind, but I head in that way because I'm like negative 4.75 in my eyes. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I look different when I have my glasses off. Hi. Glasses on. Ow. Pulled my hair. And obviously you can tell as I'm talking I need to have dental work done. But getting my iron fixed and now I'm up at 13 from 6.5. 6.5! I should have been in the hospital. I already had, a, uh, had to have another blood infusion. Trans transfusion. The blood transfusion because my iron was so low. On top of having two iron inf infusions, iron infusion, then a blood transfusion, then a couple weeks later I had another iron infusion, and I finally found a iron pill that I can take that won't make me throw up. Um, got a new neurologist on top of a hematologist. And had three MRIs, and we found five active lesions in my brain um, for my MS, about my MS. Uh, I have a dentist and an oral surgeon. The oral surgeon is kind of put on the back burner while I handle everything else. Because uh, what he wants to do is take my uppers take out my up teeth, top teeth, then this is going to put dentures, then we'll take out the bottom teeth, and we'll put dentures. That's down the ways a good bit, so don't even worry about that. What we're worried about is getting my MS under control, because my iron's under control, my iron's good, my iron's wonderful, but my MS is acting up my entire right side will randomly 
random parts will go numb. Those fingers were numb this morning. They're a little bit numb now, but I got a lot of the feeling back. But not all of it. Uh, that's how how it is with a mess. Sometimes you get it all back. Sometimes you don't get it all back. Sometimes you don't get none of it back. That's why you'll see people with a mess in a wheelchair. I've not made it to a wheelchair yet, and I'm trying not to be there. But yeah. So. That's, that's how I am. Um. I am, my name is Elisha. I have relapsing, remitting MS. Or multiple sclerosis, if you don't know what MS stands for. Uh, currently in the process of getting on medication for my MS. Everything else is on hold until that gets solved. <laughs> this is how it is. It's my life. Uh, yeah. Have a good day. Hope you hope you're healthy, happy, living your life. Hope your day's wonderful. Enjoy the little things in life. Talk to you next time. Bye.